On Sunday mornings, underwater hockey players gather at the UBC Aquatic Centre to practice their unique sport. Some members of this group are on the Canadian women's elite team, which is headed to Australia for the World Championships this summer. Daryl Brambilla has been playing the game for almost three decades. He coaches the women's team. Kind of like water polo and hockey together, I guess you could kind of put it that way. And just like in uh, ice hockey, we have a puck that's about the same size as an NHL hockey puck. And uh, again, you drive it up and down the pool, passing it back and forth to your teammates and hopefully put it in the net at the far end and get the goal. Alita Cricken is one of the players. I really love the three-dimensionality of the sport. So we're training about 15 hours a week uh, in the pool, in the gym, and then about once a month we either meet as a regional group or as a whole team to practice together. Adamita Cardin says she's found an international community through the sport. It's such a new sport that I think you instantly, like I can go to any city in the world pretty much that plays hockey and someone will let me sleep on their couch and like I just love that aspect of it. Our province has a long history with the sport. The first ever World Championships were held in Vancouver in 1980. They've been on hold since 2018 due to the pandemic. That feeling when you step out on the pool deck representing Canada, it's, it's a lot of butterflies, it's a lot of excitement. It's a lot of pride in wearing the Canadian uniform, wearing that maple leaf on your suit. And although it's not a well-known game, Brambilla says those who play are a passionate bunch. It's really a lasting friendship and uh, almost like a big family in our sport. Michelle Gomez, CBC News, Vancouver.